Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam one time he grabbed gold in one hand and grabbed what else in the other hand? Silk, right? Pure silk. So he says, Hada haram ala rijal ummati. This is prohibited on the men of the ummah and it's permissible for the women of the ummah. So far, so good. Now, the question is, you may see a Muslim yet would still wear pure gold and there's, they, not, they don't say anything wrong with it. Now, when someone does not submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that situation, what are the reasons? Number one, the person lacks the knowledge that it's prohibited. Agreed? I just never knew that. The other possible option is that they know that, but they have a deficiency in their heart. The first one was a deficiency in their intellect. The second one is a deficiency in their heart. How do you help the first group? You teach them nicely, gently, respect, with love, right? The other group, you'd also tell them the information in case they did not know about it. But the other group, even after you shed some light on the topic, they still reject. Then you leave it between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it was me rejecting or it was you rejecting, maybe we have an issue in the heart. Ibrahim salam was tested right and left. But one of the greatest tests he ever saw in his life is as follows. Ibrahim salam was getting older and older and older, no children. He has Sarah as his wife and he has who else as his wife? Hajar. May Allah allow us to be with them in Jannah. So Ibrahim salam is getting older. Praise to Allah. Rabbi habli min as salihin. Ya Allah, please grant me a righteous child. Not too long after that, Allah knows when exactly Allah says, we give him the good news of not a child, a fantastic, phenomenal child who is patient. Can you imagine a patient child? That's amazing, correct? You tell them, go to sleep. like, okay, I will. Allahu Akbar. Go eat. Okay, I will. Allahu Akbar. May Allah make our children wise, righteous like Ismail alayhi salam. Moving forward. That child was growing right in front of the eyes of Ibrahim alayhi salam. You have to appreciate this. After many years of not having children, the joy is unmatched. Correct? Or, yes or no? So excited, so happy. Everything is about my son Ismail, about my son, about my son, etc. And then Allah says, When Ismail got to an age where he would hang out with his dad. Allahu Akbar. So Allah specifically mentioning that age. That tender age. That age that you would kiss their feet and it's not gross yet. So cute. Why is Allah focusing on that? Look at the closeness. But then after that, Allah says in the Quran that Ibrahim السلام, had a dream. Perhaps many of you heard that before. He says what? In my dream, I dreamt that I was slaughtering Ismail السلام. And FYI, for your information, revelation to prophets can come while they're awake. Jibreel السلام, comes as an example. And the revelation comes when they're asleep as well. Awake and asleep. The sleeping is through dreams. So he had the dream that I have to slaughter my son. That is what? Revelation. And this is a test coming once again after he was thrown into the fire. And this test made the fire seem so small. Are you guys with me? Because even Allah says this is bala mubeen. Clearly a test. May Allah protect us. How did he react to it? I have to go slaughter my son? Are you serious? What would some people say? May Allah protect us and forgive us. What's the wisdom behind that? I will not do anything in the Quran. I will not do anything in the authentic hadith until it makes sense to me. They do that sometimes, right? It doesn't make sense. I'm not doing it no more. We're not uneducated people because we do things that do not make sense. We are educated people because we do things of what Allah said to us. Yes or no? Because Allah, we trust Him. We're not uneducated people. We're very educated. That's why we trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Simple example. I know there are other exceptions to the rule, but in general, a doctor tells you, take a tablet for your headache every eight hours. I don't know when was the last time someone told the doctor, why not every six and a half hours? Tell me the wisdom why the pill should be taken after every eight hours. Until that makes sense to me, I will not take the medication. The doctor will tell you, are you okay? <laughs> Let me give you another medication. <laughs> Correct? He's like, I studied this. I've been in school till like I was 45 years old. I delayed my marriage. I did all that stuff as an example. And you're questioning my intellect? May Allah forgive us and protect us. And you do, many of us, many of us, we changed car parts and he had no clue what's a shock absorber, yes or no. Just say it, admit. He said, you need to change the calibrator. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay, sure, change it. You have no idea what it is. You trust the mechanic. Allah is the best of examples. How dare you and I question Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when things is authentic and clear. Agreed? Agreed? Because if it has to make sense to you, that means you want to be Allah. What did you say? One more time. If everything has to make sense to you, then you want to be Al-Hakim, the All-Wise. And it's only Allah who is Al-Hakim. Because if it has to make sense to you, then the Sahaba would never believe 
Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam went from Mecca to Al Aqsa. Yes or no? Within hours, but they still believed because if I used my mind 14, 40 years ago, oh yeah, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I don't know how he did that overnight. Usually it takes two months. I know what, I'm out out of this religion. If you want to use your mind, but now you're like, yeah, it makes sense. So when we tell you the angel of death does this and the angel of death does that and the Allah provides this way and Allah cures that way, Allah tests you in that way, submit the way the Sahaba submitted to the traveling overnight. May Allah forgive us and protect us. Ameen. So Ibrahim is being notified what? I need to slaughter my son. Revelation. Just slaughter him and that's it. Ibrahim did not ask for a dream interpretation. Did not ask for another opinion. Maybe there's a difference of opinion. Jibreel, alayhi salam, any, any difference of opinion about this? He didn't say, okay, can I change the ruling? Okay, he will die. Can I just at least not do it with my own hand? Have someone else do it? Because it's pretty cruel. Can I? A'udhu billah. Okay, how about from an arrow? Okay, I'll kill him as his father, but from a distance. Has be a knife? Not a single question. That is why he is our role model. You have your degrees, we respect it. Whatever Allah told you, you have to appreciate it from Allah's wisdom, yes or no? So what if, okay, why is gold haram for men? Ah, it doesn't make sense. Then what do you do? This intellect of yours, it clashes with Allah's revelation. Which one submits? A doctor tells you, it's impossible for you to ever have a child. You tell them, my role model is Zakariya alayhi salam. The guy with flaming white hair who Allah gave him Yahya. Are you with me? The doctor tells you there's no cure to it. Like, no, my role, my creator is Allah as Shafi, the one who cures. That's your attitude. May Allah protect us and forgive us. So Ibrahim alayhi salam, he wants to go perform the obligation. Goes to Ismail. Ya Ismail, I had a dream that I'm slaughtering you. What do you say about this? Your thoughts? Fandur madha tara. Ismail alayhi salam tells his dad, look what he says. Ya abati, my beloved father. So both are showing love to one another. Ya abati, if ma tu'mar, do what you're commanded to do he did not say do as you wish no that's that's not righteousness he's reminding his dad do what you have been ordered to do Allahu Akbar then he says what he gives us a lesson right now I will not delay it he said to us right now he says you will find me inshallah because Ismail knows I cannot handle this test without Allah's assistance so right from the get-go you realize to be able to be a Hanif Muslim like Ibrahim and Ismail you have to realize without Allah we cannot do anything yes or no moving forward Ibrahim alayhi salam Hajar alayhi salam they prepare their son for one of the greatest commands of all time and they put down Ismail alayhi salam and he brings the knife and look at the adab and the respect you know Ismail the narration says he told his dad let's not have eye contact because he may hesitate so he does and he put him on the side and he's about to slaughter and only Allah knows the pain in Ibrahim alayhi heart the tears yes because as a prophet you can cry as Rasulullah when he lost Ibrahim his own son remember two years old the prophet Muhammad son Muhammad cried sahaba were shocked you're crying, Ya Muhammad. You're crying over the death of your son. They think that maybe you're more patient or whatever the situation may be. He says, yes, I will cry over my death of Ibrahim, my son. He says, the eyes tear, the heart feels sad, but I will never say anything except that it's pleasing to Allah. Allah Akbar, it's a whole nother level. Going back to Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ismail on the ground, about to slaughter, it's not working. Back and forth, it's not working. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed a ram to Ibrahim. Qad sabdaqta ru'ya. Ibrahim, you nailed it. You have fulfilled the obligation. You did it. Even Allah says, this is the serious test. He says, you have succeeded. May Allah protect us and honor every one of you, Amir Rabbil Alameen. I share with you this epitome of submission because the next time you're told to do something, a salah, respecting your parents, putting on modest clothing, realize Allah has a wisdom behind it. Even if the whole world tells you it's incorrect. I had one time a knee issue and I went to the doctor. He was of whatever background. So he says, you pray? I say, yes. He said, I'm telling you my personal opinion. I don't believe the knee was meant to be bent like that for five times a day. Well, that's why he said, I don't believe it was. With your research, with your books, with your PhDs, put it in the drawer and submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because I believe the knee was meant to do that. Are you with me? Just submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not because you're uneducated, it's because you're very educated, because you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you trust Allah. <laughs>
الحق فانظر ماذا ترى قال يا أبت افعل ما تؤمر ستجدني إن شاء الله من الصابرين فلما صدقت الرؤيا إنا كذلك نجزي المحسنين إن هذا لهو البلاء المبين وفديناه بذبح عظيم وتركنا عليه في الآخرين سلام Jesus.